Every year, tuning fans descend on Wörthersee in Austria for the annual Golf GTI Extravaganza. The Lakeside event was held for the 31st time in May, as always attracting enthusiasts from across the world. Some were there to present their automotive creations, others just to watch the spectacle. Nine apprentices from Volkswagen unveiled their Golf GTI Black Dynamic Study. It boasts a red and black color scheme, a 265 kilowatt TSI engine, and a lowered suspension. We were given a creative license to come up with our own ideas. I'm a painter, and we gave it a perfect finish. The GTI fans were treated to a live performance from a big-name DJ singer duo. This year's motto was heaven and hell. And the presentation area was witness to some devilish and divine ideas. Like this trailer, for example. Made out of a Golf GTI, what else? And the manufacturer of the Colt model now also attends the event. It's a massive event, says Volkswagen executive Ulrich Hockenberg. It gives the company the chance to show the fans everything GTI related. He also says VW realizes it's important not to lose sight of the event's primary audience, the fans. And these days, Volkswagen isn't the only car maker in attendance. There's Audi, for example. The owner of this TT painstakingly adorned it with thousands of Swarovski crystals. While the meet was initiated by the Golf GTI decades ago, says Audi CEO Rupert Stadler, it's become a stage for various marquees. Enthusiasts gather here to show all the things they've done with their cars, like sound systems with nice bass speakers at the back or polished wheel rims. Almost 50% of people here are Audi fans, showing what they've done with their A3s, A4s, or TTs. They're real fans. Audi also presented its new e-bike. It's built to also take on challenging off-road terrain. One very special feature is the disable function, which is activated via smartphone. The saddle also features automatic adjustment. The bike itself has a built-in electric drive, explains Audi's Thomas Kuba. It has a top output of 2.3 kilowatts and can generate 250 newton meters of torque on the rear wheel. Top speed is 80 kilometers an hour. The idea behind it is Audi looking to expand mobility for the individual. So how much does the new e-bike weigh? The frame weighs 1,600 grams. It's a full suspension frame made completely out of carbon fiber reinforced polymer. Souvenir hunters had rich pickings, from USB sticks to jackets, plenty of items to choose from. At the burnout area, GTI fans could put their cars and tires through a real workout. Talk about a smoking hot display. Skoda decided to get down and dirty, especially the people volunteering for a mud shower courtesy of an SUV. Seat was also at Vertuze to present some of its sportier models. The annual GTI meet has been around for more than three decades now and has lost none of its appeal. This year's outing was again a success for the fans and for the organizers. In 2013, the masses are sure to be back for more thrills, spills and excitement. <laughs>